Hi everybody, this is Jennifer with ChoiceSlides.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this kind of sliding wall where you've got multiple photographs, multiple layers, and they're all moving across the screen at the same pace as though they're grouped together. And we're doing, we're going to do this through um, position modifiers. Now for this example I've created this kind of diamond wall JPEG. It's extremely long, much longer than your actual screen size. And you can download this for free from ChoiceSlides.com. It's under Graphics Free. You do have to be a member of Choice Slides, but it is free for you to download. So once you've downloaded that, just drop that into a slide and double click. And once you're in um, the Layer Settings tab, if this is what you see, the full screen, down here what I want you to do is I want you to bring your view kind of back a bit. You'll see this little magnifying glass. Click on this and bring it back until you can see the entire diamond wall. Now you can see the little zebra lines here. That's where your actual video is. All of this to the right and all of this to the left is actually outside the viewing area. And that's why I made this graphic so long because we want to pan this from left to right and in order to do that it has to be bigger than the screen size. Now we're just going to add a bunch of pictures to this in this setting. Um, I'm at about say 40 percent um, but you want to be able to see on the outside because we're going to put our pictures all across this just like this. Okay, uh, You can do this in the layer settings tab or you can do it in the effects tab. Unfortunately it doesn't really matter. We're going to have to copy keyframes later and I'll show you why. Um, for those of you who may have noticed that my um, tutorials have been um, f few and far between lately, this is you're going about to see why. Uh, when Producer 5 came out, I found that I was explaining all of the things that are wrong with it. <laughs> um, and you're going to see that in this tutorial. So we're going to drop in some pictures where I'm in the Layer Settings tab. Um, you would hope that if you're doing it in this tab, you wouldn't have to deal with keyframes, but unfortunately, rotate is not global in this tab, so um, hopefully they'll fix that in the future. Um, what I'm doing is just adding pictures in here, repositioning, rescaling, and then putting a little rotation just to make it look kind of cute and um, just kind of give it a staggered look all the way across the wall. Okay, and we will deal with um, moving it across the wall um, in the next segment of this tutorial. So this is all I'm doing. I won't bore you by making you guys watch me create the whole wall. So um, you can pause this tutorial and do this on your own. Just drag your photos in and rescale them and position them and rotate until you get a nice staggered look all the way across the wall. Okay, so I have all of my pictures staggered across the wall and again I've done this in the Layer Settings tab. The idea behind doing it there is so that you're not dealing with keyframes, but as I mentioned earlier, unfortunately when you come back to your Effects tab, if you scroll through here, the rotate and gosh it even looks like the scale for some of it's not working. So unfortunately, um, this is one of the bugs I'm unfortunately pointing out. For every single one of these layers, what I want you to do now is right click on keyframe one and choose copy to next keyframe and do that for every single one of these. Hopefully they will fix this in the future so that you don't have to do this and if you make changes in the layer settings tab that it is global and not um, for any particular keyframe. So now that I've done that for a keyframe one for all of my layers, now it, it, nothing moves. Everything is sitting exactly where I put it, which is what we want. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pan the diamond wall from the left to the right, just the diamond wall. We're not going to pan any of these other photographs. So I'm going to hold down my shift key, which kind of constrains it fairly well. It's not great, but it works a little bit. So hold down your shift key and drag the um, diamond wall all the way to the left. So this is your starting position. I'm on keyframe one, so it's going to start all the way. I said left. Uh, it's going to start all the way to the right. And then for keyframe two, we're going to hold down your shift key and drag it all the way to the left. So if I scrub through here, the wall is moving from left to right, but nothing else is. That's okay. This is where we add the modifiers. So I'm going to start up at layer one and here I'm going to, unfortunately, I'm going to point out some more bugs, but um, again, maybe they'll, they'll fix these. So for each 
modifier. You're going to have to do an X modifier and a Y modifier for every single one of these layers. They don't have a way to copy a modifier yet. Again, I'm, I'm really hoping they'll add that in the future. So for layer number one, X pan, we're going to right click and choose add modifier. Now we're going to use a variable amount, so check the radio box for variable amount using, and this defaults to pan X no matter where you come in. Again, hopefully they'll fix that in the future. So right now we're on pan X, and we want to use the variable amount using the diamond wall. So that's your bottom, your eighth layer, diamond wall. Okay, and hit OK. And we're going to repeat that for the X pan. Right click. Add modifier, even though we came in, I'm sorry, Y pan, even though we came in on the Y pan, if we hit variable amount, it still says X. So you got to click on that, and make sure it says Y, and then from diamond wall and hit OK. So I'm going to do this again and again. I'm not going to, uh, we're not going to fade away here. I'll do this each time so you can see what I'm doing. So layer two, X pan, right click, add modifier. Variable amount using pan X is fine, and we're going to use the diamond wall. Okay, now the Y pan, right click, add modifier, variable about using Y pan this time, and diamond wall. You can see now where the copy modifier would come in really handy if they had one. So, right click, X pan, add modifier, variable about amount using X diamond wall and Y. Right click, add modifier, variable amount using pan Y, and diamond wall. Okay, and so right now I've done almost half of them, and you can see if I scroll through here, the ones that I've added the modifier seem to be working really, really well, which is awesome. Okay, so we'll just keep going through here and adding that variable, variable amount modifier on the pan X for diamond wall and the pan Y for diamond wall. Just make sure you're changing the pan Y. I think of all of the um, little bugs or improvements I think they could make um, having this pan um, default to the um, attribute you actually came in on would be certainly helpful so that you remember which one you're doing. So uh, the one on the right is pan Y and then just make them all diamond wall two more to go and again as you can see that this is extremely time consuming and a um, copy modifier would be crazy helpful and diamond wall and last one X pan for the diamond wall and Y pan for the diamond wall okay and so that's it. You're done. Actually, you're completely done. So now I'm going to play this back. And oh, that was my other slide. Now all of my photos are panning across just along with the, um, with the, the diamond wall. Okay. Now, um, again, I hate, I hate to keep pointing out things that aren't working. This modifier, um, way of kind of parenting layers really at this current time only works with position. If you try to parent or modify scale or rotation or even the tilt, things just go horribly wrong. So at, at, at this current time, which is 5.0, um, this modifying parenting via modifiers really only works with positions. Um, scaling and the other modifiers just don't work yet. So that's it. Now you can obviously change the speed of how fast your uh, wall pans by changing your slide time. So if I want it to go slow, I can change my 15 seconds to 30 seconds. And now it's panning much, much slower um, because the longer your slide time, the longer it takes to go the same distance, it's going to go slower. If I wanted it to go way crazy fast, I could just change it to six seconds. And now it's going to zoom across the page. Whee! Okay. Uh, but everything is staying together. That's the cool part about it. Um, even though I've changed my slide time, I've changed the speed, everything is staying together because we've modified these layers to um, kind of attach their position to the, um, the, the diamond wall in the back. Okay, and so that's how you are going to um, kind of parent layers, at least as far as position goes, to another layer. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.